district center of Manila, which is the capital of the Philippines. It is also called the Walled City. This bastion Intramuros was the seat of the government during the Spanish colonial period. The Latin word Intramuros means within the walls and beyond the walls of Manila were referred as to Extramuros, meaning outside the wall. It is located along the southern bank of the Pasig River and was built by the Spaniards in the 16th century. During the Spanish colonial period, Intramuros was considered Manila itself. In 1564, conquistadors led by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi sailed from New Spain, Mexico and arrived on the island of Cebu in February 13, 1565. There, they established the first Spanish colony in the archipelago. Having heard of rich resources of Manila by local natives, L Lopez de Legazpi dispatched two of his lieutenant commanders, Martin de Goiti and Juan de Salcedo, to explore the northern regions of the Visayas. In 1570, the Spaniards arrived in the island of Luzon. After quarrels had erupted between the Islamic natives and the Spaniards, Goiti and Lopez de Legazpi's soldiers waged war on the people. Before they were able to take control and establish a permanent settlement in the area. In 1571, after the natives were defeated in the battle, Lopez de Legazpi made a peace pact with Raja Sulaiman. Raja Lacandula, and Raja Matanda, who in return handed over Manila to the Spaniards. Lopez de Legazpi declared the area as the new capital of the Spanish colony in the Philippines on June 24, 1571. Referring to the rich resources and location of Manila, the King of Spain delighted at the new conquest achieved by Lopez de Legazpi and his men, awarded the city a coat of arms and declaring it distinguished and ever loyal city. The planning of the city of Manila was commenced by Lopez de Legazpi who had become the first governor general on the islands. He established forts, roads, churches, and schools. The plans for Intramuros were based on King Philip II's royal ordinance issued on July 3, 1573 in San Lorenzo, Spain. Its design was based upon a medieval castle structure and covered 64 hectares of land surrounded by 8 meter thick stones and high walls that rise 22 meters. Intramuros was completed in 1606 and it served as the center of political, military, and religious power of the Spaniards during the time that the Philippines was a colony of Spain. Casa de Roma is one of the two major public squares here in Intramuros and it is surrounded by the three important landmarks here in Intramuros which is Manila Cathedral, Ayuntamiento de Manila, and Palacio de Gobernador. As you can see at my back is the monument of King Charles IV. And at the right side of Plaza de Roma, you will be able to see the Ayuntamiento de Manila. So let's go there. So hot and starting to sweat.
guys. I am really excited to see what's inside of this church because I think this is the third or fourth time that I would be able to um, enter a Catholic church since I am not a Catholic. So guys, let's go. Manila Cathedral is the mother of all churches, cathedrals, and basilicas of the Philippines. The Manila Cathedral Basilica is the premier church of the Philippines because of all the churches in the archipelago, it was the one chosen to become the cathedral in 1581. When the Philippines was separated from the Archdiocese of Mexico and became a new diocese with its Episcopal seat in Manila. As the Church of Manila, it was established by the secular priest Juan de Vivero in 1571 under the patronage of Mary La Purisima y Inmaculada Concepcion. Father Vivero was given the special privilege and sole faculty by the Archbishop of Mexico to take care of the spiritual welfare of the new Philippine colony. filing of the certificate of the candidacy for those um, who would like to run on the next election. Guys, it's Fort Santiago, so it is only a cross in Palacio del Gobernador. So guys, we will go upstairs and we'll be able to see the Dungeons, Memorial Cross, Baluarte de Santa Barbara, 
Media Naranja, and Balsa Braga de Santa Barbara. Let's go guys. On this side lie the mortal remains of approximately 600 Filipinos. Their bodies were found inside a nearby dungeon were victims of the atrocities perpetrated by the Japanese Imperial forces who were imprisoned during the last days of February 1945. So that cross is dedicated for the Filipinos who died in World, World War II. This is Rizal Shrine. It is located here inside Fort Santiago. The shrine is home to various memorabilia such as the shells Dr. Jose Rizal collected in the Pitan, books, manuscripts, and artwork. Casa Manila is a Spanish colonial home constructed by the then First Lady Imelda Marcos. You will see a truly colonial home dating back in time. As you enter the building, the first thing you will notice is the architecture of the period. The furniture, artwork, and even all the features of the house are authentic antiques. There are welcoming guides who can show you around. Although you can also roam around on your own if you wish. Whatever you choose, there are plenty of guides around who will give you facts about the specific rooms and the place. If you choose to be guided, you will be led from the courtyard to the main receiving area and then to the rooms on the top floors. The main receiving area is actually the office of the old masters of the place so you will see here an authentic office of that time. The second floor was where the family lived, so you will see the rooms, the kitchen, the living room, and the master's bedroom. You will be amazed to see the authentic kitchen utensils of the era. Then you will be led back to the courtyard, which is the end of your tour. You might think that the tour is short, but in reality, you will linger in the different rooms and even hang out for a moment at the courtyard to feel how life was in those times. We are now here at San Agustin Church. This is the only building left intact after the destruction of Intramuros in World War II. Built between 1587 and 1606, it is the oldest church in the Philippines.
Thank you.